Hey guys, so it is before sunrise in the city of Barcelona and this morning we're going to go try to catch the sunrise at La Sagrada Familia and just kind of spend some time exploring the city today and I want to bring you guys along with me as I do some POV photography. While we're filming that I'm also going to walk you through the shots and kind of my thought process while I'm taking it. So let's get into it and go and explore Barcelona. So the thing about Barcelona is it's a city that comes alive at night but in the morning you can pretty much count on it to be completely dead. So the streets are completely empty and I'm just walking over to the metro. So once we got to the main street, things started to liven up a little bit as those early commuters started their way to work. The great thing about Barcelona is it is a city that is predominantly made for pedestrians. It's super easy to walk around. Because La Sagrada Familia is across the city, we did need to catch a subway to get there. And since we had to do that, I figured why not catch a quick video of Kate, my partner, uh, kind of as the subway goes by. I just think it's super cool in slow motion. I wanted to catch that. So I set my record settings to 60 frames per second and waited for the subway to come and then uh, just gave her some directions once it did. I also wanted to pair that with pushing in and pulling back and just to give it a little bit more dynamic movement. I always find the subway just super aesthetic and I wanted to catch a little bit of filming while we were in there as well. Just the moving background creates a really great canvas to put your subject against. Once we arrived at La Sagrada Familia, things started to get a little bit lighter, but honestly, as long as you get to a place and you're before 10 a.m., you've got most of it to yourself. Tourists don't wake up that early and also the locals are definitely not out. There was a gorgeous reflection on the lake in front of the cathedral and I just wanted to push in and kind of tilt up. Uh, just kind of do a little bit of a reveal shot while also capturing the reflection. So I want to see if I can get some vertical video of this. And then I think I might actually switch to some photos possibly. I do apologize for having the monitor and the handle. I feel like it blocks your view. So I definitely will change that if I do this again, but uh, in the moment, it's kind of what I had. Okay and try to go directly backwards for like a reveal. And then I'll just reverse this in post. Pro tip for videography, if a shot is difficult to go in forward motion, just capture it in reverse and then reverse it in post. Um, it'll make it way easier. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. Just make sure there's not anything in the background which will give away that you did reverse it. I think it needs it. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, I like that. Let's actually lock focus on this. And I'm just gonna push forward and using my joystick go up. I'm gonna pull off my camera because I wanna take some photos. Okay, so let's snap this shot. I am so sorry for my coat. Lock onto that. I'm gonna go as low as I can. I am gonna try to get one from the other side. I'll be right back, Kate. I wanted to capture the reflection, but also kind of frame the cathedral using this bush that is in front. It just creates this really great like visual cradle to hold the cathedral in the shot. Let's get that reflection. I'm a really big fan of framing your subject and I use trees, bushes, kind of anything to do that because it kind of isolates your subject and make it stand out. Let's see if we can go lower. Can you move over a little bit to like the edge of that? Yeah. I'm just gonna try to, yeah. Gonna f try to f get you in that in a third, yeah, and maybe just uh, like lean back and kind of look off to your left, just kind of over at that green building. And with your right leg, um, chain. Oh, sorry, your left leg. Make it more straight. Also, if you have a wide angle lens, try taking a lower angled shot, and it kind of creates a leading line up to your subject's face or whatever you're trying to highlight. 
Yeah. Get that a little lower. And then try looking off, yeah, a different direction. I'm gonna get the castle, or not castle, the church in focus behind you. If you don't have objects to frame your subject, don't be afraid to use people. Okay, let's try it from underneath the church. I might even see what I can do with this from a uh, videography standpoint. You don't need to get all your stuff out. Are you just gonna do it Yeah, I think so. It's starting to glow a little now, too. It's starting to what? Glow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was kind of like golden hour before. Oh yeah, blue hour, and now it's kind of going in the golden hour. Can you can you walk actually? Like walk past me, and I'm gonna kind of go down. Okay, three, two, one, go. Pairing multiple forms of movement, like a subject moving forward or backwards, mixed with a like side pan or or kind of tilting down or up with your video, uh, just is gonna add so much uh, complexity to your shot. Let's try that one more time. I'm just trying to get, kind of move up as she's coming onto the scene. Whenever you are ready, three, two, one, go. Going, starting from the ground up. Now in the last video, I kind of went from the top down with her moving away, which is kind of an opposite movement. With this one, I'm following her movement by tilting up as she's walking away. Completely different effect, but both really cool afterwards. Okay, I think that'll work. Yeah, I think I want, uh, you're, I'm gonna get you to walk by me again but I'm gonna grab a shot of this. Uh, just one second. I just wanna change to mid continuous shooting mode. I'll get you to walk maybe like an inch or two, just a little bit to the left. I just wanna walk focus on this thing. Okay, three, two, one, go. If you're photographing a very famous spot, always ask yourself, how can I not contribute to the noise and actually create something new and add I like something. that one. And I really like that one. Try and make it more interesting with framing, composition, okay. or subject matter. Uh, Kate, do you think you can walk once we have a walk signal from that side across? I wanted to try to frame this building between Kate and this pole, cutting out some of the needless empty space on either side. Okay, trying this again. But I'm gonna try to shoot this wide. If you don't like how a shot turns out vertically or horizontally, try switching it and see how the different perspective uh, lends to the photo. In this case, for instance, I like it better landscape than vertical. Yeah, it'll do. This is kind of a fun, fun building. Let's see if we can I think I'm gonna see what I can take using these uh, kind of nice soft green mopeds. Again, my thought here was, can I frame it using these mopeds or scooters? Let's see, let's uh, see. I try to frame things whenever I can, just because it's really my style. Get down I'm, low. I love finding interesting frames. I'm not sure if I like how this turned out, but it's a little bit more interesting than just taking a photo of the building. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think this is the uh, electric mini. That's very cool. Oh, yeah, the E on the gas tank. An E? Yeah, these are really nice. Me and some friends did a project for Mini Canada this past summer, and I absolutely had a blast okay. doing it. I drove a Mini, and they are an incredible vehicle, so I had to catch a photo of this. That is so nice. <laughs> I would love me a Mini. I miss my Mini Cooper. After doing this throughout Familia for Sunrise, we wanted to go to this cool coffee shop that I'd seen called Sky Coffee, which is in this kind of warehouse and uh, kind of a coffee truck inside the warehouse. As we were walking by, there was this great mechanic shop with someone working on this cool truck, and so I thought I'd catch a photo of that. Love the contrast, the lines, the light and uh, finally we made it to the coffee shop. This is it? I wanted to try to frame the coffee truck oh, very between cool. the doors. So this is it. There's just a timelessness to black and white photos and I love trying to take them whenever I can. 
Um, especially if I don't know what to do with the photo, it's a little lazy, but I think it just adds a really cool effect. And then again, I'll show the graffiti out the window. There was some really cool graffiti outside, and so I wanted to frame it in between these kind of like uh, window bars. But I wanted a human element, so I kind of waited for someone to walk by to catch them in the shot as well. Yes. Just gonna get a shot of this real quick. I really wanted to focus on leading lines, so I lined up the coffees and shot down the table to kind of try to lead your eye oh, towards the it, end right? of uh, this is? kind of co-working space. We sat in the corner and I wanted to show the kind of vastness of the space, so I used the cortados on each side to kind of frame the photographs. And I think it turned Cortado? out really, really cool. This next shot was really interesting yeah. because it takes a couple different compositional elements, like framing, leading lines, and then you also have this subject walking down, which the shot probably wouldn't have been interesting without it, but uh, try to combine multiple of those compositional elements. kind of fun there's kind of this derelict vehicle burnt to shit it's gonna kind of try to frame it a little bit with this bar see if I can frame it again with just kind of this cross over here Kind of go at a low angle, I think. Step back a little bit. Very cool. What's this park called? Park de la Ciudadela. Okay, ready? There you go. So as promised, I took off the arm and the monitor so that you guys can see a little bit better what I'm doing. And I just uh, wanted to capture this really beautiful architecture that we found in this park, located right in the heart of Barcelona. I started off by pushing forward towards this dome area using the leading lines of the pillars. And then as I was turning, I also tilted the view upwards, um, trying to catch the sun flare there and kind of create this magical beauty um, and capturing the, the majesty of this gorgeous architecture. Switching into flashlight mode, I asked Kate to come along and kind of walk by me. Just walk just past, walk down to the end, look around, kind of turn around, look at everything. So here Whenever I'm going to really ready. try to lean into Kate's perspective here. So again, as I go around her, I'm going to slowly drop down lower and tilt my view up as she's also looking up just to kind of try to capture her experience and uh, the wonder that she feels. Also, as I'm turning, going to move in closer with her. So I start off with following a little bit further back, but as I am capturing her experience, as you see, I'm moving closer and kind of showcasing her perspective more and more. Okay, so we're just coming up to these kind of epic trees out in front here. And I really want to get the shot, but I don't want the, don't want the cars in there. So I'm going to try to get a sun flare just over there. I'm going to focus on these trees here because I think they're really cool. I'm going to try to take it a little lower down and then just move it so you just get the slight sun flare. Don't want it too blinding. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video and got to see a little bit more about what Barcelona is actually like and maybe learned a little bit about the kinds of thoughts that should be going through your head as a photographer as you're setting up photos or videos and how that can improve your work. If you enjoy these types of videos, I'm gonna be uploading a video traveling through Morocco doing this exact kind of thing. So make sure to give this a like and a subscribe and tune in for that video which is gonna be coming out soon as well. I'm Kaelin Charles and I'll see you next time.